Hi everyone and welcome back to English with Malik. Uh, today we are going to study uh, the last of the tenses which is future perfect progressive or future perfect continuous as we call it. Okay. Uh, future perfect progressive has uh, two uh, variations that we will be talking about. Well, let's look at our uh, graph first and then we'll go for the example. Uh, future perfect is when we have two actions in the future. Okay, for example, if you look at this graph, we'll see that we have this action. Okay, and then there is a continuity and we have another action which is kind of interrupting it. Okay, so there are two actions in the future. One that is nearer to present and the other which is far from the present. Let's look at the example. The example is I will have been traveling. I will have been traveling for five hours before I get Rome. Okay, so two actions, one action that happens and then it will continue until another action is there. So in this case, like we'll have been traveling, that is what we have. This is the structure with will plus have plus been and plus in form, okay, which is called the fourth form of verb as well, continuous form as well, or in the form as we call it. So I will have been traveling for five hours before I get Rome. I will have been traveling, that is the duration of five hours before I get wrong. That is one variation. The other variation is that an action started in the past, okay, like uh, 30, 40, 50 years back, and then it continued and it is here at the moment in the present, and then it will continue a little bit more in the future. Okay, for example, we have an action here in the past that is in the past, it is continuing until the present moment where we are standing right now, and then it will further continue into the future. Okay, so for this case as well, we will use future perfect progressive or future perfect continuous. The example can help you. Look at the example when Professor Fan retires next month, he will have been teaching for 45 years okay so this is what we have huh? when professor Fan retires next month so we say that he started teaching like 45 years back and then he continued until the present moment and he will also continue for one more one okay we are talking about the future that in uh, in August, okay, by the end of August, or uh, he will retire. So, this span of time when he started from the past until the present moment and a month in the future as well, we will be using future perfect progressive. When Professor Fan retires next month, he will have been teaching for 45 years. So, these are two variations with future, future perfect progressive. One, in which we have two actions that are in the future, okay, and the other in which we have a, a starting point that is in the past, and then it continues until present, and it will also go into the future as well. The subjects, well, uh, all the subjects are here. We can use all the subjects. There is no uh, problem with that. And uh, let me uh, recall again the idea of, uh, you know, will and shall some people think still that with i and v we can use shall no worries okay but in the modern usage we do not use it we just use will only so whether it is i v or you or they or he or she or it or one subject or two subjects like Simon henry in any case, we'll be using the same structure. I will have been traveling, you will have been traveling, we will have been traveling, she, he, it, or Sam, 
will have been traveling uh, before for five hours before he then uh, if it is he it will be gets you know with the present indefinite as we talked about where with he she it we use s e s or i e s with third person singular okay and uh, if you want to make a question we'll take out will okay and the, our question will be will i have been traveling for five hours before i get home okay will he will she uh, that will go like this so this is what future progressive future continue uh, future perfect progressive future perfect continuous is all about keep in your mind that these are two variation that we can use in the future perfect progressive well uh, this is it for uh, today uh, with this tense we have completed our series of these 12 tenses we started from present simple and then we continued with the uh, past and then the future and then their you know uh, continuous forms and the perfect forms and perfect continuous forms so uh, i would suggest and recommend that if you are still uh, confused if you are not sure about any of these tenses please go through the previous videos uh, of individual tenses that i have uh, prepared for you uh, watch them and if you if still you have some confusion you can write to me uh, on any other uh, lessons uh, i'll have a quick review of all of these tenses one thing and also i will make another video lesson in which i will talk about the most important tenses okay what they are present simple present continuous present perfect these three present tenses future simple future continuous these two from the future and past simple and past continuous these are you know uh, seven most important tenses which are used frequently so we have to have mastery over them anyways uh, keep watching keep practicing and uh, for any other further question comment me i will see you in the next lesson until then bye bye